This is such a stupid picture. I've been playing on this account since before I could legally drink. I still don't, but you get it. When I started this account, Love the Way You Lie with Eminem and Rihanna was on top of the charts. Inception had just come out in theaters. Old school RuneScape wouldn't exist for another three years and Obama was still in his first term. And I have been a clean level 3 skill peer through it all. That's why this is stupid. That through the best and worst times in my life, my proudest gaming achievement has turned into much like what my future child is gonna be like. My proudest disappointment. <laughs> it, it all comes spiraling down to this moment. Not even considering the whole part of me that would have totally avoided this if I just learned to read. I mean, this even started as an awful day. I, I didn't get any sleep the day before because life is fun, so I got up to do some questing and I, I level up my skiller while I'm at it. Great going, Will. You can even tell my level of shared denial at this point where I was like, I was closing the client in desperation. I'm like one of those people where the engine starts making noise so you're just gonna turn up the radio volume. If you can't hear it or, or see it in this scenario, the, the problem don't exist. <laughs> I feel like I'm making like a YouTube apology video, but instead of having done something terrible, I jumped on the bandwagon whenever big YouTuber was apologizing for stuff and I used like a mild swear word or something in a video and I decided to apologize for it. Is that a relatable thing? I know this isn't a big deal to a lot of you. Most people watching this video will be questioning why this truly matters and if you really strip away all the layers on top of it, it really doesn't. But you gotta see it from my perspective. This is like you spent 5 hours every single day for 10 years in your hardcore Iron Man and then you die. Luckily though I'm still level 3 so technically this is more like uh, dying and becoming a normal Iron Man instead. I, I feel like I'm at the end of the second world war but on the losing side. <laughs> or it's like Lord of the Rings but uh, as Frodo enters Mordor he gives the ring to Sauron instead. And then he becomes a monk. Imagine you're in a clan with people only called Bob but now your name is Bobby. You get the point. I'm different now. I need to get a tattoo. So anyway I decided to start level 2 prayer pure by accident. <laughs> I had uh, an ambition actually to max my quest points and rune score as a skiller but I flew too close to the sun. Turns out if you recoil a gas during nature spirit, it's safe. As most other recoil related kills are. No XP since you don't take a hit like I've done countless of times before. I completed the quest and decided to kill one more because of an achievement. Nobody reads anything in this game. I didn't read a small text about how you for some reason gain prayer XP when killing a gas post nature spirit. So I leveled up. I can't reset in Lumbridge because despite what a lot of skillers do these days, I actually used the built-in reset for its intended purpose back in 2014 when the game combat formula was reversed. Like, I don't even admit it. I tried to go the cowardly way and pull up my content creator get out of jail free card and get a manual reset. I even promised not to tell anyone if they did because I knew that if this became public, every other skiller would yell favoritism and ask for the same treatment. It's super two-faced because I, I publicly stated several times that I don't support manual resets and it's true I don't but I fully understand the temptation of looking into getting one at least. I mean you want to get that no instead of wondering if you ever had a chance. Failing your account sucks big time. But being a skiller is a challenge much like Iron Man and I know that I take the risk of gaining XP through gameplay. And I think Jagex shouldn't turn around for that with actions like making quest rewards to XP lamps so purists can complete them or to reset skillers when they ask for it. Just to pull like a similar scenario out of a hat. Imagine what it'd be like if Jagex put up a lottery that allowed random people to revive your dead hardcore Iron Man account just because they like the account. That'd be chaotic. I don't want that for skill purists. So when my creator card failed me and I had calmed down from feeling like a proper waste of time in this world, I decided it's better to use this the best way possible and stand in the mess that I've made. I should do what content creators should be doing and lead by example. Show the rest of the pure community that it ain't so bad to have these kind of accidents. Show that despite me being a content creator, player moderator and buddies with a handful of jmods, I don't get special treatment. As long as you're still low level, as long as it's not intentional, I'm very much still a skiller. This is all a pretty decent chance for me to talk about this stupid NPC which is this guy. 
When RuneScape reversed its EOC combat formula in 2014, they released this reset system to remove XP gained through the formula to allow purists to return to the way they were. In the process, Moodwolf added a long list of achievements, items, and quests that would be removed with the reset. Things like a prayer cape if you reset from 99 prayer just to take an obvious example. The issue is, that list obviously hasn't been updated since its release 6 years ago. With the addition of prayer pets, constitution peers now can tank themselves to a fire cape and rune scores from achievements like the 5 scores you get from killing a gas post nature spirit just to take an example, that all remains on the account after a reset. That means there are people with 0 XP in prayer that owns a prayer pet. Combat 3s with a fire cape, though that is now possible actually without a resetting, shout out to this dude. And purists with the unfair advantage of more quest points and rune score points than I can never get because they got the score and reset after. It's stupid. I am in the mood of thinking that if you still haven't benefited from its purpose after 6 years, that's on you. Get rid of the NPC and get rid of purists being able to obtain items others like me can't because we've used the reset for its intended purpose. Jagex, however, claims it's a feature now. Too bad this isn't MTX related, I guess. Anyway, this is me now. Sorry about the rant. I'll have to figure out how to look at the stats without being too disappointed. Thanks to everyone who's been so supportive so far. I'll obviously continue being a low level, I just need to figure out what I want to do. I still love this game, everyone. I just... I don't know. I want to continue making content, so I'll, I'll see you all in the next video. My name is Wolmisit, the uh, <laughs> level 2 prayer pure, and I'll... Um, yeah. I'll see you all later.